I want to make this blunt. I want you to marry my daughter. Hun. If you marry my daughter, then I will give you a quarter of a million dollars in order that you may have a business. Hun. She is only 16, and I am 18, plus I do not know that she has the same feelings for me that she has for other men. I know that I am only 16 and that you are 45, but I really enjoy what we do when you sneak into the window. I enjoy sex. I know that I've never graduated from high school, have only worked few months of my life, and live with my elderly father, but I cannot help but be attracted to you. Perhaps you should check on your daughter. I am sure that she is okay. I am not so sure. Why don't you check on her? Just go down the hall and go into her room, and see how she is doing. I am sure that she is not sleeping. I am sure that she is not sleeping too. What do you think she is doing? I don't know. You should go check on her. No. Hello, would you like to join my student organization? It is a technology organization. Yes, I would. I have never been this far away from home before. We must be 300 miles away. Thank you for taking me to see the Milwaukee Bay. We have known each other for several years now. Is this the third time that we have been to Chicago? I do not know. We have been to Chicago so many times that I cannot count them all. I know that I have had sexual relations with most guys in our city, but will you marry me? I can never marry you. Will you at least sleep with me? Absolutely not. I will never sleep with you. Ever. So, you are going away to college in the far east of Illinois? Yes, and you are going away to college in southern Illinois. But, we will not see each other. I know. This is what we must do in order to get an education. Today we will be talking about the fundamental nature of reality yet again. I am sure that this is what really matters. For thousands of years philosophers have thought about this subject, and now you are the next in line. You can spend your entire life on this. I see much value in clerical celibacy. Repent, repent, repent. It is not natural. Get a wife and repent. You insult me. You do not know what you are even talking about. Everyone that does not agree with me will be damned. Repent. I am so glad that we are still with each other after all these years. Me too. I have to go to Greece and Turkey for school. Goodbye. I am sure that Greece and Turkey will be fun. I love you. I love you too. I have the strongest feeling that she is never coming back. Dear God, I cannot stand the way that I feel. If you do not send someone into my life, then I will no longer be able to function at all. Please God, send someone into my life. I just bought tickets to the Winter Ball, and I do not intend going alone. If I have to go alone, then I will not go at all. Do you have any questions for me today? I really do enjoy teaching the history of the Middle East. Being from Turkey gives me a lot of insight. I was wondering if you are planning to attend the Winter Ball. No, I was not. Well, if no one had made the offer, then I would like to extend the invitation now. Get away from me. Hello, would you like to go to the Winter Ball with me? God is supposed to be your only love. Well God, this is just a few hours away from the Winter Ball, and I do not see how my prayer can be answered now since I will soon be running a theology meeting full of only men. Is this the theology meeting that I read about? I have been wanting to attend for weeks now. Yes, it is. I started the organization over a year ago, and it is the most active ministry on campus. We have several professors that attend and interact with us. You don't know how badly I've wanted to attend. I approached the building manager every day asking when exactly this meeting is. He kept giving me the wrong times. I am sorry to hear about that. Are you going to the Winter Ball afterward? I would, but I do not have anyone to take me. I will take you to the Winter Ball after this meeting. I would love that. Sorry that I am late. Are we going to talk about the divine nature of Christ again? That is up to you. I will let you pick the subject this time. Hello. Where is your son? I have decided that I will marry him after all. He already has a girlfriend. I do not think that this will ever work. I travel across the country, 
and you want to have a stable job, I do not need a job in my life. But, we can get married, and I would be a little flexible about the location that we would live in. That is not good enough for me. I know that you have graduated college now several times, but I have everything that I need now and I do not need you. I want to buy a house. Um. I could never live in Rock Falls. Well, if you know where I live, then why don't you come and visit me? Unk, unk, unk. You don't love me. What kind of girl do you think I am? This is not what I had in mind. The Bible teaches that a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife such that they will become one flesh. Isn't this what you had in mind? Not at all. You are not my wife and I have not gone from my father and mother's house. Is your son a virgin? Well, he has had girlfriends before, so he has been sleeping around. She cries, growls, shivers, and screams. What did you tell her, Mom? I told her the truth. I told her that you had a girlfriend before. She then said, so he has been sleeping around. I did not know what to say. Well, Mom, as a result of what you told her, you may never have grandchildren. Why do you say that? I do not believe in sexual relations before marriage, and this is the main reason why I have been unable to have a relationship with women that last until marriage. Well, I guess that I really messed things up for you then. Yes, you did. I am getting older, and I do not think that I will be able to have children now at this rate. I am ashamed to say that I had lots of moral failure in my life when I was studying for the ministry. I had my own apartment, and I had inappropriate relationships with women. Hun, what is he trying to tell me? We are all sinners. Remember the story of the prodigal son. You must give yourself to Christ in order to be saved. God loves you.